Next slide, please. <clears throat> this is uh, the Volantor Road Pump Station beside the YMCA. We're going to show you a one-up picture of the ring motor, and, and you can see the depth. This is going to be 40 feet deep when they do it. How they construct this is they build it on top of the ground, they build the blocks on top, and then they sink it. I'll show that picture. And this is the ring motor one. That's as they get ready to sink it. So all this will eventually be down below ground, and then there will be a slab, and there will be a building on top of housing that comes to screens, etc. But that kind of gives you a perspective of how, and that's because of these areas, <coughs> they're very low-lying areas, uh, they're above the floodplain, well above the uh, new floodplain, but it's hard work. If you had to excavate a trench to build that, it would be so wide because you'd have to get trench boxes in there and everything. So this technique was really unique, and it was one of the uh, value engineering uh, things that we did when we met with the contractor and design engineer. And the force main, we've got, uh, there's a map I think coming up that shows you the size of the pipe. It's uh, ductile line all the way until it gets under uh, 75. They have to jack a bore under uh, 75, and then it goes into an HDPE bike fused pipe after that. The reason it's not the on one side because that's the highest pressure. And that pressure that pressure gradient drops once it gets past I-75.